Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a candlestick telephone and this is the final checkout of this uh, telephone and Deborah sent this telephone in and um, basically this telephone had a lot of issues uh, the dial wouldn't work properly the hook switch had some problems and there had to be some uh, quite a few of the wires inside and connections had to be repaired this telephone is a mix of old and new parts and um, I have a transmitter from the uh, 60s and 70s uh, it's a T1 and that's the transmitter that they're using in the telephone and this telephone does not have a network in it so uh, in order to balance out the sound uh, quality from the transmitter and uh, the receiver um, you just basically there's a certain way that you have to wire it but uh, you also have to um, this is a bell insert and basically what you can do with this bell insert is you can cut uh, the top of it off to fit um, the spit cup inside and it would actually go like this perfectly and then cut down the other end of it to fit over the transmitter and what we're trying to do there um, what we're trying to achieve is to funnel the the transmit into the transmit capsule so that there is no loss of uh, of your voice within the encasement of the transmitter and I'll kind of show you what we did here that brings up the quality um, we did not do this conversion I'm not sure who worked on this telephone this was in here um, so we just put it back in but if you notice what we did was we added that piece of plastic in there to trap your voice and funnel it into the transmitter otherwise it just gets carried in by the whole uh, size of a hole of a nickel maybe and then it bounces around inside the encasement and what we want to do to uh, bring the quality of the transmit up is funnel it into the transmitter and so that's what we did with hot glue we added the uh, piece and funneled it into the transmitter so that, that uh, helps out the transmitter and brings up the quality of the sound a little bit because there's no network in this telephone and I'm just going to leave this loose here because we're going to do some checks on this telephone. So that might help you a little uh, when working on these telephones. Um, it just gives it a little added uh, transmit and, and helps the quality out. Anyway, let's ring this. This telephone was uh, we didn't do the conversion we just did a bunch of repairs on it uh, they have put an electronic ringer inside so I'm going to ring it a couple of times give it one more you have received there's dial tone now what we're going to do is we're going to dial some numbers because we had to get the dial straightened out. There's a zero. We're going to end up in a two. And so let's do a, uh, let me transmit into the telephone every time you see that red light on the analyzer that's a hundred percent modulation hello 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 so uh, it increased the volume of the transmit by putting uh, adding that little funnel uh, in on the transmitter uh, by at least a hundred percent because it was barely transmitting before and uh, that that helped it out it increased the volume so uh, they shouldn't have a problem talking to anybody but um, anyway we did some various repairs to this telephone we had to 
repair the hook switch, do the funnel on the transmitter, go into the dial and uh, repair the connections on the dial, clean them, get the dial um, adjusted to where it was dialing out properly and um, fix some, uh, repaired some uh, connections and um, where we could we hard soldered um, some of the lines together so there wouldn't be any problems with them with anything falling off uh, any wires the other thing you will get a little bit of um, staticky noise from these old T1s you know, they have graphite crystals in them and um, carbon crystals whatever and they bounce on a diaphragm in here when you speak into this transmitter and um, when they get a little older what they want to do, and some of them did it brand new, uh, they will cause a little static sensation in your earpiece because there's no network. And um, basically it's open design, open wire. And um, what it'll do is it'll cause a little static sensation and it'll almost be like um, a little bit of static and if you simply blow into it, you can get the carbon crystals aligned right so that they don't have a staticky sound to them. But a lot of people will equate that little bit of static with something going on in one of the wires or one of the connections. And although they can have some problems with the wires and the connections, a lot of times it is just the uh, transmitter capsule and the carbon crystals that are in this and uh, that's basically what will cause that. So if you hear that, that's normal. Um, they all do it a little bit, most of them. Uh, some of them won't, just depends, but uh, it shouldn't be uh, too much to where it's going to really uh, interfere with anything. Uh, you just basically have to put up with it or go through about a hundred of these <laughs> until you can get one that's quiet. So anyway, um, let's do another check on this telephone. We're going to plug it into a regular line. And I'm going to dial a time and temp number. Good afternoon. Our body shop can repair almost any make and model for less. Offenburg Belleville, 2340330. Today is Tuesday, June 22nd. The time is 12.55. Current temperature, 106 degrees. So anyway, now that we know that this telephone is dialing out properly, um, it is repaired. And um, I'm going to plug it back over in the analyzer, and I'm going to go ahead and ring it a couple times again. And the ringer is not all that loud. It's electronic ringer. Some people go for that, some don't. Uh, because it's trapped in here, there's no way to get the sound out of there, out of the base of the phone. There's, no, there's not a whole lot of holes here to, for the release of the, uh, the audio of the piezo buzzer, the ringer, electronic ringer. Dial tone. We're going to go ahead and... Um, Go through the dial one more time. I'm going to end up in a two. I'm going to hang up. I'll go ahead and dial a two again, and I will transmit a little bit. One, two, three. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can actually see the modulation then on the transmit now and um, it's all working. And uh, this is a pretty cool old telephone. Deborah will be happy to get this back. I think it's for her son and he enjoys this telephone a lot. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.